Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. This time, we're pleased to present an award to payment service provider Asia Pay. Headquartered in Hong Kong, Asia Pay offers its professional e payment solution consultancy and quality local service support across 12 countries in Asia and has been doing so for over 17 years. Asia Pay brings advanced, secured, integrated, and cost effective electronic payment processing solutions and services to banks and e businesses in the worldwide market, covering international credit card, debit card, and other prepaid card payments. Asia Pay has won numerous awards and has a presence in major conferences across the Asia Pacific region. Global Banking and Finance Review is pleased to present the award for Best Payment Solutions Provider Pan Asia 2017. Recently in London to receive the award from Global Banking's Peter Barron was Chief Executive Officer Joseph Chan. Afterwards, we spoke to him about the company's success story. Joseph, welcome to London and thank you uh, so much uh, for coming to talk to us today. And indeed, uh, congratulations on the award as well. Thank you so much for the honour. Well, perhaps we can start by asking you a little bit more about the history and development of Asia Pay and how it actually works. Uh, ever since I've finished my graduations in Australia, and then uh, I worked in the banking for about 10 years. Uh, at the dot-com time, around about year 2000, I found that uh, there's an uh, untapped opportunity that uh, you know, somebody sit in the middle of the banks and the merchants to provide more advanced uh, electronic payment service and technologies. Uh, we shocked the uh, success of PayPal in the US, but we couldn't find any similar player in Asia. So with the uh, kind of a 10 years experience in, in banks, I tried to be a startup, to try to be an entrepreneur at that time, and build a business from day one since then. Uh, it wasn't a very uh, you know, a, you know, smooth journey. There's a tough times you know, from SARS and uh, financial tsunami. Uh, we did uh, achieve a bit of positive in 2005, and then uh, expand the business into Asia. So our business started off with more uh, a P P2P, you know, person to person transfer in the old days. But at the business expense, we're trying to we find that uh, there are far more demands on the B2C space. So we extend the uh, payment services to serve merchants and gradually to the, to the banks. And now we are the one of the, uh, the leading electronic payment service uh, and technology players to serve Asia uh, for, the, for covering about 12 uh, markets now at this stage. Well, of course, in, in this day and age, everything is computer-based and electronically based, and so it's an exciting time for your organisation. What would you say are the challenges and indeed opportunities for the e-payment service? There are so much uh, disruptive uh, technologies in the old days. You know, ranging from you know, um, you know, uh, for the e-commerce payment, uh, initially start off you know, dominated by credit card uh, payments. You know, since then, there are lots of uh, you know, new uh, payment uh, methods um, you know, come um, to the markets, you know, ranging from net banking, Pay wallet and all the way now to the uh, QR NFC uh, in the market. So some of the challenges uh, we face is that the, the adoptions uh, on the both on the consumer and also on the merchant side. There's so many new way of uh, accepting payments. How they will keep up uh, to provide and serve these uh, these uh, markets. And secondly, also the um, the government side. Uh, the regulators would like to keep up with the demands. So there are lots of new uh, you know, regulations policies and then uh, your, um, your licensing to regulate this market to protect the interests of the consumer at large. Well, let's talk more now about the scalable secure payment solutions that Asia Pay offers. Uh, how does it actually work? Perhaps you'd expand on that a bit more. Right, exactly. You know, ever since we start the business, we see that uh, there's a tremendous demand for uh, your uh, one-stop payment processing uh, across Asia. Because normally when you can see the, the e-commerce merchants, you know, they may start off from one country in Asia and expand their business in Asia um, you know, in the different markets. So we try to you know, keep up uh, with this uh, expanded uh, you know, kind of payment processing and set up network throughout Asia. So we partner with uh, pretty much up to around 100 banks and alternate payments uh, players in the market. Uh, along the uh, payment processing coverage, we also um, you know, focus into uh, upgrading and also an enhancing a lot of features on the gateway to make the platform is one of the most comprehensive platforms to serve, you know, typically in terms of the security side, uh, PCI compliant. In terms of authentication side, we are 3D secure uh, compliant. Uh, in terms of multilingual, multi-currencies, uh, we also you know, keep up uh, with, the, with the market. And besides that, along the provision of e-payment processing only, we also, up, um, you know, also uh, enhance and R&D our own fraud prevention platforms, our own mobile payment technologies, 
and also our extension to a lot of payment modules within the gateway to well serve the market. You know, pretty much like, for example, installment uh, programs with uh, issuers, loyalty program with issuers, and also like tokenizations for PCI, and also as well as like the uh, some of the latest one. That's very broad ranging, and uh, yeah. you mentioned there about doing your own research and development as well. So that's you're right. setting up your own platforms. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And and how is that going? Uh, things go well. You know, pretty, pretty you know, you know, um, you know, um, you know, keep going well. Uh, we you know, uh, very start the R and D. We put our all uh, uh, technologies uh, based in Hong Kong. Our core team. Uh, over these years, to meet the demands and diversify the kind of uh, developments, uh, we start to build up more satellite teams uh, in uh, India, uh, China, as well as in Malaysia to keep up with all these uh, developments. You can see so many new technologies coming to the market from like 3D uh, authentication, to, um, your fraud prevention, mobility technologies, and latest all these uh, wallet uh, platforms and technologies too. Well, with all that, <coughs> operation, that complex operation, uh, at least to a layman it would seem that way. Uh, how do you ensure ongoing support for your customers and clients? Oh, absolutely. Ever, ever since we start the business, we put uh, service is the topmost um, you know, kind of criteria. Uh, that's why we invest in all the market with all the local support. Uh, you know, who can speak the local language, uh, talk to the customer, can be face to face in uh, 14 uh, branches throughout Asia. Uh, that is the one of our service companies to well serve this market. On each of the operations in each of these market, not only we have sales and service staff on the ground, we also have technical staff on the ground who can provide pre-sales and pre-sales uh, pre uh, sales technical support. And at our core uh, systems uh, network uh, uh, divisions in Hong Kong, we also provide seven days, twenty hours, uh, your technical service support for those merchants who need this support over time. Now that's excellent. I know you've also been setting up your own CSR project. It's called the Library Project. That's Tell right. us a bit more how that works and what's involved. Now, it was a very interesting, uh, yet a meaningful uh, development of Asia Pay. Uh, we do have uh, been uh, investing or you know, participating in different kinds of CSR projects in Hong Kong and Asia market. We come to this Library Project uh, organizations, I think last year in, in China. We share their strong passions in try to provide uh, more your know, reading ex uh, opportunities to those um, your know, uh, your know, kids who have not have the opportunities even have uh, you know, to have access to some storybooks at home or at school. So this library project uh, organizations you know, uh, call for donations and then use the funds to build up set up some small little library uh, have around about thousand titles books for the young kids and with a small little kind of uh, you know, um, you know, reading books, uh, reading uh, tables and chairs, uh, pretty nice uh, library for them, which uh, you know, when we come to, uh, to join this first ever project, uh, in a very rural village in China, we hardly see that this is the first time ever these kids can, has read storybooks with pictures uh, in their whole life. So really, uh, you're involving youngsters in, in these projects as well, uh, because they obviously will be the customers of the future. Yes, yes, definitely. I think knowledge uh, changed the world in the market. Uh, and we do believe that uh, by and, you know, have good access to knowledge, access to know the world will you know, set us apart you know, when they grow up uh, in, in, their, in their whole life. Excellent, excellent. Uh, a final point, uh, if I may, Joseph, and that is uh, looking to the future. What plans and opportunities and developments do you have actually uh, in the pipeline? Oh, that would be great. Uh, you know, while we are having 14 operations as yet, uh, we still have not yet fully covered uh, whole Asia as yet. You know, our latest operations in Australia, and uh, we have Melbourne and Sydney right now, we still want to extend further to cover like Japan, uh, Korea, and New Zealand down the line. So geographically, we still want to expand our footprints in Asia to well serve as a one-stop platform. Secondly, in terms of the technology side, there are more and more new development um, you know, in different uh, aspects. You know, from the card scheme, you know, uh, China Union Pay, uh, from as well as like uh, WeChat, Alipay, all expanding their you know, uh, uh, service and co uh, coverage in the market. So we are putting a lot more efforts to support new payment options, um, you know, uh, coverage in Asia. Beyond that, the developments of um, you know, mo mobilities continue to prosper, not only in the ways of consumer mobility devices, but also uh, the terminals in the retail store is getting more smart and intelligent. So we anticipate more you know, like smart living, smart home, all this will drive up more on your demands for your digitization or digital payments in the long run. And last of all, that's the key. We are looking into like VR, AI, uh, all this. We can will be uh, you know, kind of like big data. That could be something that we are also uh, planning to invest to keep up with the markets. 
Excellent. So, so technology and expansion, uh, two watch words. I wish you every success with that. Thank you so much for coming to see us uh, here in London and congratulations on your award. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.